Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Marvel Universe Iron Patriot figure. Um, actually, I didn't know this guy was getting made. I was just in my local comic shop, and I don't follow the Marvel Universe all that well. And um, I knew there was a Wrecker coming out, and when I picked up Wrecker, I saw this guy. And I've actually wanted an Iron Patriot ever since Dark Reign started, so I figured I'll give him a shot. Although he does seem to be pretty much the extremist Iron Man figure, um, with a new paint job and a slightly tweaked chest sculpt. Um, right down to the fact that he's got the same little blast that Extremist Iron Man came with. Um, his only accessories beside his blast are his base and his secret files. Of course, let's go into the back of the packaging here. Back here you've got a picture of Winter Soldier, Iron Spider, and Mary Jane. And Norman Osborn's little read-up says, When Spider-Man warned the Avengers about how dangerous Norman Osborn was, no one listened. He was a has-been bad guy living under the thumb of Tony Stark locked up in Thunderbolts Mountain. Now, of course, he's on top of the world, living the life of a beloved hero while lining his pockets and spreading his evil. He's got the real heroes on the run, and he's traded in his old Green Goblin costume for a suit of powerful, high-tech armor of his own design. So, of course, um, the main baddie behind the whole Dark Reign saga. Of course, that really makes the whole Hammer logo more efficient, even though it is um, technically over in the Marvel Universe. But, without any further ado, let's pull this bad boy out of the packaging. And here we have the Iron Patriot out of packaging with his... um little blast attached. They always issue this same blast with all the Iron Man figures. Um, I just think it looks ridiculous in my own personal opinion. It just the clip on makes it look awkward hanging off his arm and overall I end up throwing these things in a spare parts bin. So I'm um, throwing this off to the side here. Iron Patriot actually has a really nice um, paint job on him. Especially, you know, that's a very m major point for me seeing as he is a straight up repaint. But um, they went with very nice glossy colors that really stand out. Of course, um, let's actually get a look at this guy's detail. Of course, um, just an all-around great paint job. Um, usually with Marvel Universes, I have a lot of issues like, oh no, the paint's ran here, oh no, the paint spilled over here. Um, I cannot find a single flaw in this figure, which is a very nice touch. Of course, let's actually pull him off his base really quick here. See if I can get him standing up on his own for a second. Uh, looks like he's not gonna... Yeah, let's just leave him over here. Of course, the standard Marvel Universe base is Iron Patriot number 19. Um, his articulation, he does a full 360 at the head as well as goes up and down. Um, his articulation in the arms is a little hindered by his shoulder pads. He goes out to about here, manages to do a full 360 despite the shoulder pads. Bends at the elbow, spins at the wrist, same for both arms. Does a full 360 at the torso here. Legs go forward, seem to go back just a tiny bit, go out, double joint at the knee, and ankle joint. So um, a very nice level of articulation in the Iron Patriot. Um, too bad about the arms, though. I don't know, it just seems like there may be more articulation here. I'm just worried about forcing it up and breaking him. So let's actually get him back on his base really quickly here. Come on, where are your foot pegs? There we go. And let's bring out the extremist Iron Man figure, which is right over here. And um, it's very evident that these are both repaints of each other. With um, he's got the triangle arc reactor, while Norman has the star. But um, honestly, these two figures are very much different for me. Um, I think that the repaint is no big deal, and I think that the Iron Patriot. I'd actually say he has a much better presentation than Extremist Iron Man. Um, I just think the paint really makes him stand out. So, with that being said, let's actually go on to um, his secret files, which are over here. See if I can get it out without ripping them. Nope. If you watch my reviews, you know that's a constant issue. I always rip these things. Pulling them out. Of course, your um, standard little code, you can go online, type that in, and get an extra little read-up on the character. Of course, the Iron Patriot, or Norman Osborn. All this random info, and it says, Powers. Norman Osborn is highly intelligent with expertise in a variety of scientific fields. He has enhanced healing factor, reaction speed, and strength. Norman Osborn now currently wears the Iron Patriot armor, granting him powers and abilities similar to Iron Man in addition to his original powers. So, throwing that off to the side, his little read-up here. From random email address, blah, blah, blah. Subject, the Iron Patriot. 
My cell has finished our analysis of Norman Osborne's Iron Patriot armor. The full report is attached, but I'll summarize our thoughts here. Most of this data comes from observation of the armor in action, as well as fragments recovered from battle scenes in New York and Latveria, and components acquired by our agents inside Avengers Tower. The suit is sophisticated by conventional terms, but its most advanced components are derived from appropriated start technology. Osborne himself has always been something of a pedestrian thinker, and this suit reveals his unimaginative, bleh, unimaginative nature. Iron Patriot is powerful, but he is no Iron Man. The countermeasures we've already developed for combating Stark should be more than enough sufficient to deal with Osborne. Agent 94166. So, um, I guess like someone in ha Hammer is conspiring against Osborne, even though Osborne was the leader of Hammer. To my knowledge, that's what I remember it as. Um, so overall, I really dig the Iron Patriot figure. Um, now this is even better because we're going to get the entire Dark Avengers, I believe. We're getting a two-pack with, um, Dark Wolverine and, um... Dark Spider-Man, um, which are Wolverine's son and Matt Gargan in the Spider-Man suit. And then we're getting um, a Dark Hawkeye later on on a single card. And the only other one I think we need is, I know we're getting Sentry in a two-pack. And we still need um, Moonstone, I think it was. We need Moonstone com to complete the set and we'll have the full Dark Avengers. Which, um, I gotta admit, I'd love to have all of them on a shelf together. But that being said, this is JTrain997. These run you about $7.50 in stores, maybe a little bit more offline. Um, I actually know you can get this guy on um, BigBadToyStore.com for only 10 bucks plus shipping, so that's definitely a steal in my personal opinion. So go out, pick them up, and this is JTrain997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.